welcome to part three of configuring Intel vPro devices to work with HP client automation. We now need to configure the Intel SCS console by launching the console from the programs menu of where we installed the console in step two. The very first time we launch the console it needs to know the URL of where the website is and by default this will be server name dot domain forward slash amt scs so for example if i scroll down my list here uh, my server is called cas and i'm on a domain called psg.local but note when we installed we made that a https website and not a https if you do not have dns working correctly you may need to use the ip address however moving forward you will need dns working perfectly as part of the vpro provisioning process we simply click log on and the first time we log in we'll get the welcome screen a part of the first time we need to create a profile so double click on create profile the intel scs console will then launch the wizard for creating a profile and we have a number of settings some general settings and advanced settings to go through so I'm going to tick domain uh, as well and access control list and click next the first part is I need to create a profile name now for this example we're going to use a profile called Hewitt Packard and the description of that profile is HP Intel vPro demo profile and we simply click next now I need to choose a number of options here so we want to enable the web UI we want to have a serial overland capability we want to have IDE capability IDE redirection as part of vPro we want to have the KVM which is a new feature in Intel vPro 6 for keyboard video mouse redirection we simply go into the settings Use cons user consent is required before beginning a KVM session correct and set the password used by a KVM session so I'm going to in my demo environment here create a password and for the purposes of my demo uh, and set up during this training videos everything is using this password I click OK Manageability is on in the following power states. So always on, or in standby, or in hibernate is the option I choose here. Enable synchronization using Wi-Fi if you wish. I click next. So we're gonna go and configure access control and domain lists as well. We simply click next. Under access control list, you'll see there's a user there already called admin. We need to add a new user and it's called a digest user with the name of SCS user and again I use the same password for the purposes of the setup password and we need to assign PT administration to that user account we click OK and click next in the domain list specify the platforms home domain and validate platforms FQDN so my domain here is psg.local because I'm on a local domain for your environment it will be your company domain .com or .com.au etc we click OK allow configuration when the platform has no domain and do you want to validate that domain as well ok you can choose whether to do that or not click next and here's our profile and we click finish the other thing too is I want to set some initial service settings or and I also need to configure public uh, security keys as well private security keys in this case I'm going to go and do this a different way we're going to click close and we'll do that through a console option so we'll untick that and close that you'll see the profile we created here is now here the Hewitt Packard profile and there are no platforms or no devices because we don't have any clients connected to this environment and under the Hewitt Packard profile there was no devices there as well if 
we go through the tools menu you can see under our settings we have a number of options as well okay so under network settings are we doing active directory integration which I'm not allow AMT requires authorization before um, perform before performing configuration so we must have certificates equal each other maintenance so how often I want to reapply the configuration I could change the admin password if I wish now to see what is going on within the console under our operations tab if we change to verbose logging we can also troubleshoot a lot easier and we can simply apply those settings and click OK so we've in configured the console and we have created uh, a, a profile we've also set some basic parameters around how our logging is done so we can troubleshoot if we open out the logs you'll see we have an event log and security log and also under operations you have a log as well so with verbose logging under all events as a device boots up on the network you'll see information on the device here if it is vpro capable hardware the next step we need to do is our look at the way we are going to provision the devices from a security point of view so all client machines that connect to the intel scs console and then to hp client automation must have a form of certificate so they could have a manually entered hash in the bios of every machine which you can configure through tls psk configuration you could uh, use USB key provisioning or if you have bought a public SSL certificate then uh, that equals a certificate that's currently in the BIOS of the devices then the devices would automatically provision from a security point of view in this case for the demonstration we're going to use USB key provisioning so you right click on TLS PSK and click export we simply click next and we find insert a USB key into a USB drive and it's found my USB drive we want to create and export new keys and we want to put 50 keys on there and what is the manufacturer's default password for the management execution BIOS extension or MEBEX and by default from Intel that is admin okay so we don't need to change that but as part of the provisioning process we want to change the password so this means as the device checks into the console uh, as part of the security key it will automatically change the password and it's now creating those keys and putting them onto my USB key it will format that USB key as well so please make sure that you have nothing on your USB key when you try that so if we go look at that USB key here it is here it has a setup bin file now to save me going to every device and hitting F10 manually uh, and then entering a 28 digit hash into the Mebex uh, security keys I can now take this USB key and boot a vpro capable piece of hardware such as a HP Elite 8100 desktop off the USB key and follow the on screen instructions and that will configure the management BIOS uh, with the correct security keys and the profile information so the device will automatically provision so what you need to do now is take the USB key go to your PC notebook etc and boot off that USB key make sure your device is capable to boot from USB and uh, follow the on-screen instructions which will just be a yes and a yes and an enter and reboot the device and that's uh, part three of the configuration complete.